Very warm welcome to this video where we are discussing how the month of January 2023 is going to be for people who are born in the Capricorn sign. When I say the Capricorn sign, I mean all those people who when they were born, either the moon or their ascendant was transiting in the Capricorn sign. So if you have the Capricorn sign, then this video is for you. First of all, let us have a look at where the various planets are transiting all the month of January 2023 in your horoscope. In the first house, we have Venus and Saturn. In the third house, we have Jupiter. In the fourth house, we have Rahu. In the fifth house, we have a retrograde Mars. In the tenth house, we have Ketu. And in the twelfth house, we have the combination of two friends, Sun and Mercury. What does this planetary placement in various houses of your horoscope mean for various of your life aspects is something that we are going to discuss in detail right now. First, let us talk about the luck factor. The luck is seen from the ninth house. And the ninth lord, in your case, is Mercury, which is sitting in the twelfth house along with the eighth lord sun. It is not very good. So, luck is not favoring you much. It is just 50-50 or it is low, we can say. Health, however, is a different story. Because the ascendant lord, Saturn, is there in Capricorn, in the Ascendant, which is very good, and it is along with Venus, which is the 5th and the 10th Lord. Again, after the 17th, it is going to move to Aquarius, but it will again have the company of Venus from the 22nd. So by and large, the health is supposed to be good as far as people who have the Capricorn sign is concerned. Moving on to the love life. Now, love is seen from the 5th house. The 5th Lord is sitting in the 1st house, which is a good sign, along with along with the Ascendant Lord Saturn, so it is time for some new proposals. And uh, Mars, the 11th Lord, is also sitting in the 5th house, so it is good times as far as love life is concerned. Now let's talk about the marital life. Now the marital life is seen from the 7th house. Now unfortunately, Saturn is watching the 7th house till the 17th of January. So till the 17th of January, if there would have been uh, so there are some problems which have been prevailing for the previous some months. They are going to reduce now because Saturn is going to move to the next house. And once it moves to the next house, then you will again enjoy harmonious relationships with your spouse. Now let us talk about education. Education is seen from the fifth house and Mars the 11th Lord is sitting there. So if you will give some exams or, or, or you will take some um, uh, exams or interviews, then it is a very, very good period. Um, if, you, if you were looking in for uh, um, going in for some new courses, then this is the absolute right time for that. Talking about your career prospects now. K2 is occupying your 10th house, which is not a good thing, but it has been so for the previous few months. It causes a lot of disinterest in the present vocation. So a lot of you would have been disinterested in your present job and would have been looking towards uh, starting something new. But January is of course not a right time. Maybe, you know, after a few more months, um, there would be right time for you to change your job or change your vocation. Now let us talk about the business prospects. Now the house of business is being aspected by Saturn, again which is not a very good thing because it is ruled by Moon and Saturn is not in a very pally pally uh, relationship with Moon. However, from the 17th of January, Saturn is going to move to the next sign. So if you were facing problems in business for the past two years, then things are going to change. You are going to witness a period of improvement. Jupiter has already come in 120 degrees to the seventh house it has already started to shower its beneficence on your business and you will see that starting from january your business is going to blossom more more and more and all this is subject to the planetary positions and their combinations in your birth chart in the month of january 2023 the gods shower their choicest blessings on you on the 13th of january we have the festival of lori on the 15th of january we have makar sakranti on the 21st we have the dev pitri kare moni new moon or amavas on the 25th we have basant panchmi and from the 22nd january uh, the gupta navratras are starting talking about the planetary changes 
which are happening this month. The first change is in Sun. Sun is going to enter the sign of Capricorn on the 14th of January. It is a very good day for fasting and for donations. Also, it uh, marks the starting of Uttrayan, which is supposed to be the day of the uh, of the Devas and the night of the Asuras. So these six months will be good as far as uh, uh, auspicious time for starting any new venture is concerned. Then we have Saturn entering in the sign of Aquarius on the 17th of January and this happens after a period of 30 years. Saturn comes back to its home in Aquarius. Then we have uh, Venus joining in Saturn in the sign of Aquarius on the 22nd of January. Mars getting direct uh, in Taurus on the 12th of January and Mercury also getting direct on the 18th of January in Sagittarius. The various uh, planetary combos which are happening in this month are first the full moon that means the opposition of the sun and the moon on the 6th of January from where the waning half of the month will start till the time of the new moon which happens on the 31st of January from where the waxing half of the month is going to start. We have the uh, very ominous Gaj Kesari Yog, which is a combination of Moon and Jupiter on the 5th, 6th, 7th of January, again on the 13th, 14th, the 19th, the 20th and the 25th, the 26th and the 27th of January. We have the Mahalakshmi Yoga, which is a combination of the Moon and Mars on the 3rd, the 4th, the 30th and the 31st of January. Also, we have the Buddha Aditya Yoga formed by the combination of uh, Sun and Mercury till the 13th of January and Shash Yoga from the 17th of January. Well, this is all I have you for the month of January 2023. However, do not forget to watch the videos on how Saturn is going to impact your life when it enters after a period of 30 years the sign of Aquarius. Now, until we meet next time, may beneficence shower on you and take good care of yourself. This is Prabhul Frank Nandavani signing off.